The suspect that we know from Willington took supplies to include food and the victim's truck. We also learned that firearms were taken from the home. The victim on Turnpike Road was not injured and he refused treatment at the scene. The suspect then took the victim's truck, drove it down to Derby where it was located near Osborne Dale State Park. Connecticut State Police actively searched the area. Meanwhile, we learned that the suspect had an acquaintance that lived on Roosevelt Drive. A male was found deceased in the house. The deceased has been identified and we will later identify him in a press release. The suspect then left in a 2016 black Volkswagen Jetta with Connecticut plate AU78524. Again, it's Connecticut plate AU78524. The rear quarter panel of the vehicle had a tribute to Sandy Hook victims in the number sign 26. A reverse 911 call went out to the surrounding area. At this time, we do not believe that he is in the area. Our condolences go out to the families that have been affected by this tragedy. Please know that Connecticut State Police and all of our law enforcement partners are actively and continuously searching for this suspect. We know that he is armed and dangerous. If anybody has any information or if they see this individual, please do not approach him and call 911. We know that this is currently under investigation and we are gathering information as we are right now. We know that we are getting various investigative leads and at this point we are investigating all the possible leads that we have. Thank you. Any questions? Sky Molina, Fox 61. Uh, is there any reason to believe at this point that he's out of state and have you let neighboring states know about this? So the question was, do we have any reason to believe if he is out of state? Uh, we are investigating various leads that we do have, uh, this current and ongoing. Uh, so we have notified all of the surrounding areas within our state and all the surrounding state police uh, law enforcement agencies as well. Were the stolen firearms used in the second homicide? The question was, were the stolen firearms used in the second homicide? Again, the scene is still active and we're gathering information. Can you tell us the time frame for the Derby activity this morning? What time are you talking about? We know it occurred this morning. Again, it's still an active and ongoing investigation. We're gathering details uh, as we speak right now. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Can you your name? Uh, the name is Trooper First Class Christine. Jeltima, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, J-E-L-T-E-M-A. J-E-L-T-E-M-A. M-A. And who's the first class? Correct. Thank you very much. Yes. So to confirm, you believe that the suspect in the Willington incident was also responsible for the Derby incident? It appears at this time that it is. Again, this is all preliminary information. Hi, Tara. Hi, Tara. So the question was, uh, Newtown Police Department said that he has ties to Newtown. Again, uh, this is an ongoing and active investigation. Uh, we are gathering information and we're not at the liberty to disclose at this time. One last question. Okay. What leads you to believe that the suspect is out of the area now? So the question was, what leads us to believe that he's out of the area? Again, we have various uh, leads that we're looking into. Uh, it's still under investigation and, and active at this time. What comes next? Again, we're actively and continuously looking for this individual. Uh, we're, when we do find him, that he will be placed into custody. Is he alone, do we say? Uh, we don't have information right now in regards to if he's alone or not. That's all that I have. Thank you. Sarah, Mike was on, so...